Hello, my dear friends. Good morning and happy Sunday to you. Welcome to our first hashtag Chat with Segi talk show session today. And we are so excited that you could join us. My name is Maxine and I will be your host and moderator for this session titled American Degree Program Virtual Fireside Chat with Segi. Why a fireside chat? Because today, we're not giving you just another program review, but we will be interviewing some very important people and asking them questions that you, as a student or parent, want answered. Joining us today are Ms. Stella, the CEO of SEGI Group of Colleges, Mr. Anand, Associate Dean, followed by our ADP lecturer, Ms. Afni, and finally, Ms. Punisha, our on-site coordinator for Troy University. For your information, SEGI's American Degree Program is offered by our partner, Troy University. More on that later. So, if you are fresh out of secondary school and have been considering to pursue an American Degree Program, or if you are a parent and your son or daughter have been making some serious consideration about ADP, you have come to the right place as today we'll be sharing some important highlights about the program that will help you to arrive at your final decision. So if you have any questions or you just want to say hi, feel free to drop it in our comment box. A note to our speakers, I'll be directing a question to each person, but for the rest, please feel free to chime in if something to add. Without further ado, let us begin. All right, so my first question is for Ms. Stella. What is a distinct feature of American education versus British or Malaysian? The differences, hi Maxine. And hello students and parents who are tuning in this morning. Good morning. Well, um, there are some differences between American education versus British or Malaysian um, education. Just let me highlight a few key differences. The first one is in the entry path pathway, right? So if you have just finished your SPM or O-level equivalent, the American degree program allows entry directly from SPM. Whereas for a Malaysian degree or a British degree, you would probably most likely need an A-level, a foundation or STPM, that equivalency level. So that's the first difference. With a SPM, you can go directly into an American degree program, which is a four-year degree program. The second difference is probably in um, the curriculum design. American degree programs uh, tend to be more general in the first two years, and this is especially suited for students who have a myriad of interests. You you have um, different likes and interests and you may like a little bit of psychology, a little bit of business, a little bit of maths. And so this is perfect for you. But if you are the type of student who is uh, very singularly focused on a specific discipline, for example, you only want to do um, medicine, so American degree program may not be the right uh, path for you. Um, lastly, the third biggest difference is in assessments. American degree programs, um, as we all know it, because we run um, American degree programs as well as the UK degree programs, is in the design of assessments. ADPs um, in general are very continuous in their assessments, as in every week or every two weeks, they will have some small quiz or pop quiz or participation, uh, location marks, um, take home assignments. Whereas um, Malaysian assi uh, assessments or UK based assessments, they tend to be more spaced out and probably one final exam and one midterm exam or one assignment and one final exam. So th those are the differences, Maxine. Um, I hope I've answered that question. There's, there's also a lot more small differences like uh, the American degree, degree program um, actually encourages a lot of interaction, a lot of communication. Um, it really wants students to let's have your opinion in class. So we tend to bring, bring out uh, personalities, have them give their opinion. There's no right or wrong. We just want everybody 
to have their say. And I think um, the, the speakers that will come on later, Anand, Afni, as well as Nisha, they will all attest to this as well. And we will see different characters in our American degree students versus our, our UK degree students. The American degree students are louder and right always, always opinionated and we are really proud of them for that. That's right. Thank you so much, Ms. Stella. So, Mr. Anand, as a previous um, American degree program student, um, what do you think? Um, hi, Maxine, and ha hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, it's definitely an honor to see all of you here on Sunday, and I think it gives us so much of pleasure to meet every one of you. Thank you for sparing time in meeting us. Thank you, Ms. Stella. I think you gave us a very nice um, introductory on uh, the differences between educational systems in Malaysia, the British, and also the American. Now, I had the privilege of undergoing all the three different kind of uh, education during my study period. Uh, Maxine, the difference that I would say is, uh, I agree so much with Ms. Tella, the teaching and learning styles are completely uh, different, you know. The American degree makes you, uh, gives you the encouragement to be a public speaker. You know, uh, it encourages you to, to have a lot of talks during class sessions, a lot of independent learning and coming to class and uh, representing yourself from whatever you have taken from the uh, learning avenues. Uh, whereas the British education is more of a, uh, a study kind of a concept where you got to um, um, listen in class, you got to read up and, um, you know, you got to present your skills and knowledge in exams and maybe one or two presentations. But uh, the uh, and the Malaysian education system is very similar to the British, America, uh, British education system. So American education system makes you uh, develops you completely um, to, to transform yourself into a different person. Uh, but then each um, education system has its own advantages. So that's the difference that I saw. Uh, when I went through the, uh, the British and the Malaysian education uh, system, of course, I used to be a very timid person. And the Anand that you see now talking aloud and, you know, with so much of confidence is because of the American uh, degree exposure that I had gotten. So that's the difference that I see, uh, Ms. Stella I and was, Maxine. I was just going to say, I cannot picture you as a timid, a quiet person. Oh, I was very, very Ms. Stella. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Maxine. That, that's pretty much from me. Yep. So um, to our fellow audience, so if you want to be like Mr. Anand, join us for our ADP program. Okay. All right. So uh, moving on, we have a interesting second question. So it goes like this. Billionaire Elon Musk said that colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. Miss Afni, what are your thoughts on this? Well, thank you, Maxine. Uh, happy Sunday, everyone, Like, uh, and uh, good morning. Okay, uh, well, I agree one thing with him, which is having fun. Yes, going to college is about having fun. But not only having fun, we also learn things, okay? Academic learning, professional development, uh, personal development, as well as um, networking. Okay, point number one, why I say that it's um, academic learning? Okay, it's there while having fun. Uh, formal settings of uh, degree, uh, degree classes or diploma classes or higher education institution is where we have um, formal setting. Organize, we focus on discipline, self-discipline. Okay, we also focus on organization, time management. Okay, so all of these build the student's personal development as well as uh, preparing them for their professional a future or carry objective uh, in the future okay so it's some sort of uh, what we can say a future investment okay and for your own self okay and the society that you're gonna serve uh, later on okay that's number one okay so number two when we talk about um, having fun and uh, uh, learning in college aside from your major courses uh, other courses subject majors that you have to take you also learn one thing that we call networking. I think Miss Nisha, Miss Anne, and have you guys will agree on this matter because you have a lot of connections, right? Uh, when you were uh, studying uh, in the university. Yes, so, yes, yes, right? Okay, so networking, for example, uh, let's say, for example, in the university that we have, we have alumni association, okay? We have also uh, clubs, activities, okay? As well as um, 
what they call it, volunteerism uh, among the students and uh, students association. So all of this will help the students build um, an early networking while they were studying. So it will help them build themselves networking while in school as well as after uh, they graduate. So this thing will help them in the future. Okay, one last point that I wanted to add is um, aside from this uh, professional development and personal development networking, another thing is uh, the courses prepare the student to be what do we call it? Cultured, the word cultured, a human being that is cultured where we appreciate other people's culture, respect other people's culture, okay? And um, I think a lot of uh, courses in um, higher education institution uh, focus on telling the students to be this. Lah. All right, Miss Afni, thank you so much for your answer. So it's safe to say that colleges are not just to have fun, but it is to build us personally and professionally. And also, I would like to follow up with another question, Miss Afni. Um, you mentioned about professional and personal development as well as networking. Um, how do we use all these elements um, when we want to further our, not, not further our studies, but how do we carry this when we start working, when we finish um, our ADP program? Okay, because most of the courses in ADP program and we have also what we call before we enter the major, uh, uh, what, we, what major that we want, like Miss Stella said just now, okay, we have this uh, what we call subjects, Gen X or general education subjects. So these subjects are focusing on humanity, social sciences and build, build us to be human. And along of these courses, one thing that I think most of you will agree with me is when we are in college, we have that um, develop analytical thinking skills, okay, critical thinking skills, as well as communication skills. So all of these skills actually will help, uh, will be embedded, okay, will be instilled, embedded throughout your learning. So every challenges that you face in college, okay, every struggle that you face when you are doing assignments, okay, when you are about to quarrel with your lecturers, but you, it's not quarter, huh? it's actually giving opinion, okay, giving opinion, then you justify uh, your opinion properly, okay, in a proper way. All these complex subject matters, we prepare the students to be more, uh, what do you call it, prepared, more adversity, I would say, more uh, reliance, okay, resilience, uh, so that in the future, the students will not only uh, help uh, themselves, in academic excellence as well as their life goals. It helps them to lead what I could say a quality life. Yeah, that's that's literally a life skill. Yeah, that yes, they could correct. bring forward not just in their career but in their life as well when they're correct. when they're building relationships with other people. That's so yes. great. This is really yes. this is what differentiates um our ADB students, our ADB program from other institutions. Yeah. So now we come to the part where we will hear from Miss Pranisha about what um, what our ADP students will experience. So I think our audiences would really like to know what will students experience in Troy Segi's ADP program and what are their study options? Hi, Maxine, and uh, good morning to the audiences, Miss Stella, Mr. Anand, and Miss Afni. It's good to see you on a Sunday. Um, okay, uh, just to be very quick, um, an American education, uh, I myself was an American graduate, that was like 10 years ago, so I still carry the qualities in me. An American education opens doors to a bright future to anyone and everyone who's looking forward to begin um, an American uh, education. It allows you to chart unique tertiary education journey. Troy University American degree programs are bright to your offshores um, through the partnership of SEGI colleges in Malaysia. So um, to make it uh, really um, simple, the Troy SEGI partnership opens up a world of possibilities locally and abroad. So one unique aspect to answer your question, Maxine, uh, one unique aspect of this partnership is the faculty flying concept. So that's the real experience our students are getting. So they actually, the final year courses are actually taught by the professors 
specially flown in from Troy University in the US, students in SEGI colleges get to meet the Troy professors here in Malaysia. So that is one unique aspect that Troy University and SEGI colleges has it in Malaysia. So um, I think we can get an um, uh, insight of how, uh, uh, how the professors are here and getting uh, field trips done. So this is the, um, some quick pictures that we could gather for the audiences today. So the professors are the real Troy professors from three faculties, psychology, communication, and global business. So um, uh, all okay, professors Mr. in the program. Yes, I sure, Ms. Afni. I just want to uh, put the, you remember the first picture just now? Uh, Maxine, if you can yes. go a little bit back. Uh, uh, this professor, this is Professor Steve Stewart from the uh, from the Faculty of School of Journalism. Okay. Journalism, uh, yeah. Okay. Am I right if I if I if I say that uh, 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 School of Journalism in Troy is one of the best in the country? Yes, they recently um, was awarded for that, and um, I mean it's 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 a very common thing for Troy Journalism School to get awards, and the recent one, yes, exactly as you said, they are the leading one in the country for journalism. Yes, Ms. Afni. So all professors that are teaching in SEGI colleges are approved by Troy University. So if you're looking forward to start a, a, a degree program right after your SPM, um, definitely SEGI colleges is going to be a, a good option because when you actually enroll into ADP, you, it means that you're pursuing your degree right away at the university level. With regards to the cost, studying locally is certainly affordable and students will not need to leave your home and family, especially during this pandemic. However, if Troy Segi students have an, you can also have an advantage to transfer to Troy University US campus under the student mobility arrangements. Uh, how that works is, um, well, we have three majors offered here in Segi. Um, the uh, psychology, communication, and global business. When a student transfers to the U.S. campus, they can change their major to whatever major that's available in Troy U.S. campus, and they will continue to receive the partnership um, uh, discounts that's available if you're a student here. And um, so... Nisha, you might also want to mention that during the pandemic, because the fly-in lecturers are not able to come into Malaysia uh, because of restrictions in travel, but our students are able to go live streaming with them as well. Is, yes, is that yes, correct? Mr. La. Yes, Mr. La. So the flying concept is the unique point of this partnership. And due to the pandemic and the international borders are closed right now, uh, all our classes are live streamed. Our, our lectures are available anytime so you can actually email them keep them in touch and and the classes are still going on so flying classes are still being taught by the troy university professors so they that will not give you a worst difference uh in terms of teaching and learning processes yeah excellent just an excellent initiative right Yes, Ms. Stella. Uh, and our um, uh, lecturers are actually working beyond that and, uh, you know, offering extra services because they feel they still want to deliver the right um, uh, momentum that they had when they actually can fly into Malaysia and, you know, teach the students physically. I think, Nisha, I must also definitely say that um, <clears throat> coming back to um, the question that uh, Afni answered earlier, you know, uh, whether uh, college is about fun or just uh, learning, you know, uh, it's, it's very debatable, but college life is definitely fun. I think it's one of the best moments uh, in life that one would ever actually experience. And uh, and here in SEGI, uh, we ensure the fun elements in every teaching and learning that we uh, produce to our students. And coming back to uh, what Nisha is currently sharing, um, the, the beautiful part of this ADP um, international and internal exposure is the facilitators in Troy University and the facilitators, lecturers in SEGI work very closely. They have got a very uh, positive uh, strand of communication, uh, sharing to ensure what is delivered to the students are definitely of quality and fun and best experience. So I think that actually is a cluster of uh, uh, best learning experience. So uh, students in SEGI, uh, 
definitely have that uh, international feel when they are with us. So I think that that's definitely a privilege uh, for uh, for learners who intend to pursue in this program. So um, back to you, Anisha. Yes, and, and, and another thing, uh, let's say there's a course that's being offered in Segi for this semester. The same course is being offered in the U.S. campus. So the professor who is teaching in the U.S. is the one who's facilitating and teaching for Segi students in Malaysia. So we are trying to deliver uh, the quality for, though, though it's a Troy University Segi campus here in Malaysia, we try and make the deviation really low. So we actually um, give the same experience that our students have here in Malaysia. Nisha, you may also want to share a little bit on the Trojan uh, spirit that we give our students, you know, the Trojan spirit. I think that's really important, you know, you should share it with, uh, with potential clients. Okay, uh, so our students, uh, the Troy University Sagi, uh, students in Sagi here in Malaysia, we call them Trojans. So if you could actually go into the Troy University website, you can see a lot of Trojan mascots and stuff. So uh, we call them Trojans. Just, you know, whenever I see them, yeah. So whenever I see them, I was like, hey, Trojan, you know, hey, senior Trojan. So they really get the Trojan spirit in them. And um, you know how the real Trojans are strong, bold, you know, uh, we really want them to do it. And if they come forward to Mr. Anand or myself and say, uh, you know, we want to do, uh, check out this initiative. Uh, we want to do something with, um, uh, you know, uh, some activities, we want to do some collaboration with Troy students there in Troy University campus, you know, the U.S. campus, we really get them to do it. So the spirit is, is different. And uh, one happy thing about our Trojan students, after, after instilling a lot of Trojan spirit in them, they actually get hired at the third year or the fourth year when they study. So that's one happy thing. Um, that's one happy thing that I, why I have to, why I get to know about this is because they, they will come forward and say, Miss Nisha, I need your recommendation. I need a recommendation letter and stuff. And uh, I'm happy to say that even SAGI campuses has hired uh, some ADP students at the third year and towards the fourth year. So we actually see this, this the Trojan spirit that we instill in them is actually uh, making them into a, uh, 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 making them, make, making them prepared for the, uh, working environment. The, the employers want these qualities and we are happy to give um, the two important skills that we instill in our students is multitasking and multi-skilling. These are the two things that is very obvious in our students and are really happy that the th Trojan spirit that Ms. Anand and I and Ms. Afni, I think Ms. Afni, you're very spirited. I've been seeing you for many years now, yeah? So this spirit is actually, Ms. Afni, let me tell you, this spirit is actually um, contributing a lot to our students and thank you very much for the lectures the set of lectures that we have in SEGI colleges i believe miss stella um that that's pretty much what you you always enforce that employability that our students must be able to get a good career platform and we at SEGI also we provide our students uh if, if we have an opening and we definitely encourage our students to join us so i think that, that's pretty much what you really look for in, in us, Ms. Stella. <laughs> yes, great job. Thank you, Ms. Stella. Uh, Nisha, uh, I think yes. just now when you mentioned, I just remember, it's a small thing, but I think we should instill, we should uh, emphasize that when you said uh, first year student, second year student, I think you forgot that we, ca we call ourselves the first, the first year student, we call ourselves freshman year. You know, the second year, freshman we call them and the sophomores, and then the third year, exactly. we call them junior, and then the last year or the fourth year, we call them uh, uh, senior, right? Yes, so, one gentleman came to me and said, I'm a sophomore, a Trojan. Yeah. I was like, wow, you know, the name, I mean, they carry the pride, and I'm really happy the spirit Correct. has worked really Correct. well in them. Yes. yes. And this, our semester, what do we call the semester again? Spring, summer, fall. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I'm a fall student. Yeah. I'm a fall student. I'm a spring student. So yeah, we have the, we have that sort of communication happening among our students, and that's really like we'll take it aback. Like, wait, oh yeah, spring. Okay, you know. So those are the terms and the way um, communication has instilled in them. Um, they're really good in in terms of communication. They could carry themselves. You can actually put our students in any corner, and they will actually come up with you know shining as a lion. Yeah, that's really good. I second that, hundred percent. Maybe we can talk a little bit more about Troy University and its, um, because it's a public, public university in the states, right? 
um, and uh, Nisha being the on-site coordinator and uh, you are a Troy University staff, maybe you can tell us a little bit about um, what it's like being a state university and what are the fees. If a student transfer over there, I mean, they don't have to, right? They can do the complete four years here. Yes. And that's why we are an ADP and not an ADTP. Uh, yes. Whereas an ADTP means um, some some colleges in Malaysia or some universities in Malaysia just only offer two years. And after that, you have no choice but to go uh, yes. the last two years in the States. But, but here we offer four years. Still, there's a flexibility of students transferring to the US campus like you mentioned just now. And what does this mean for the student? Okay, Mr. Lau, we have um, uh, students who actually wants to transfer to uh, the U.S. campus. <clears throat> Though they they probably want to do this like first two years over here, the third year in the U.S. campus, and the fourth year they will come back to Malaysia. We even have that, so we have that flexibility over here. Um, Troy University is a state run, a state government run university, so it's uh, easy to say a public university. Uh, so it's been there since eighteen eighty seven, really old really really old so um uh, well established and our students uh, have to have the pride of being there and um troy has always been uh, happy to have the partnership with segi um so in conjunction to that um our students are, play, are paying um discounted fee because of so the moment it's a troy segi student transferring to us you actually enjoy the benefit of the discounted fee if you want to know more about the fee uh, how much is the discount what is the real how much is the discount and everything by all means please contact Sagi colleges the counselors are ready to help you with that we have a um, good range of uh, uh, probably rebates for the uh, for the students who is after SPM and stuff so what I'm trying to uh, explain over here is we have got um, a good partnership discounted fee for students who study in Sagi colleges transferring to US campus so that's uh, one thing we do not see when you uh, actually transfer to US, you're considered as an international student, but you actually enjoy the so-called as in-state local fees. So you want to know more about what an in-state local fees is if you transfer as a SEGI student to Troy University campus. So please feel free to contact the counselors. They, 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 they are all welcome. So you're welcome to um, speak to you and uh, your child. Please come forward with your results and we can actually explain to you how how much your child can benefit being uh, in our american degree program um, uh, tri university program in segi campuses yeah very well explained back to you maxine i think you're stealing your show oh okay. it's everyone's time to share especially miss nisha also i have one question um to follow up on nisha sir um explanation earlier so i i heard yeah. that um for Troy students, they can actually mix and match their majors and minors, and they can. And what happens if they transfer to the Troy campus? Like, can they okay. do they still continue the same major or they have different options? Okay, Maxine, um, I think I explained a little bit about that, so I'm just gonna go uh, deep. So, for students who enroll here in Malaysia with SEGI, you have three major options. The psychology, communication, and global business. These are the three options of majors. Obviously, when you have a, when when you select a major, you have an option to select the minor as well. If for, for instance, if a student takes a major in psychology, they can minor in communication. After all, we are actually chasing uh, into multidiscipline, so we have to actually go very quickly, and we have to like um, have a few skills in us, you know, to get employed and stuff. So that's one thing so these are the three majors troy university has in malaysia with SEGI campuses if the students could transfer to u.s campus they can actually change their major to any other majors apart from the three that's available in malaysia so i make it very clear you have only psychology communication and global business in in malaysia and if you want to take any other majors apart from the three that's available in malaysia by all means SEGI students in malaysia can um, transfer yourself to the u.s campus and actually change your major as well right thank you nisha we do have some questions coming in from the audience so okay. the first question we have here is from Hassan. 
If we transfer it to the US campus, do we pay the fee according to US campus or Malaysia campus? Hi, Hassan. Um, thank you very much for being here this morning. Um, Hassan, uh, just to answer your question, if you transfer to US campus, campus through SEGI, I make it very clear here, if you can transfer to Troy University US campus through SEGI colleges in Malaysia, you will be able to enjoy the local fees. Local in the sense you will be able to enjoy the discounted fee that is stated under SEGI. So uh, you will need to contact uh, SEGI colleges counselors and they will be um, clarifying that part on use. But to make you very clear, if you want to study Troy programs directly in Troy campus, you have to pay the Troy international fee. But if you enroll for Troy programs in SEGI campuses, you will be able, you will be enjoying the Malaysian fee. Right. I hope that answers your question, Hassan. We have another one um, from MG Win. What is special about business program at Troy? Hello, MG Win. Um, happy Sunday. Um, all right, I think you must have done some research about our business program on website. So you actually wanted to know more from here. Okay, we have got double ACSB accreditation. Um, this is an additional accreditation that uh, business schools are actually fighting for. And Troy, Troy University has got it already since um, uh, probably 2018. I, I can be uh, incorrect, but so inaccurate should be in 2018. We got it already. So if a student enroll in SEGI Malaysia, SEGI colleges in Malaysia for global business program, they actually get double ACSB accreditation automatically to your certificate. So when you actually enroll for global business and you are a graduate from the global business, you can actually put an additional note in your CV saying that you have got double ACSB accreditation. So that will carry value to whichever country that you are looking forward to be employed for. Thank you, MG Win. I also would like to say that uh, the peers that you would be meeting uh, with the uh, ADP program uh, in SEGI would also make a lot of difference to your learning experience. Uh, uh, for the question that you have asked for. Thank you. Right. Thank you, MG Reen, for the question. We also have a last question from Fahrul Rusli. Can students decide to transfer to another USNI instead of continuing at Troy? Yeah. Probably Mr. Anand. Nisha, a student wants to know should they be joining our program and they intend to transfer out from SEGI perhaps uh, maybe I'm looking at the question in year two or year three uh, instead of going to Troy you know uh, can they join another university with the uh, ADP program uh, in SEGI oh okay um, yeah they can do that uh, you mean they want to transfer to US Cam I mean anywhere in the US not in Malaysia yeah Thing. Perhaps to another, to another university, that was the question. Yeah, transfer will not be a problem because our uh, certificate, our degree is accredited by SAC COC at the highest uh, qualification. And we also have MQA uh, accreditation in all campuses. So transferring to any organizations, to any institutions, anywhere in Malaysia, anywhere in, in the US will not be a problem because of the uh, full accreditation that we have got in both Malaysia and United States. Actually, additionally, we can also say that um, students in the ADP program, if you want to transfer to a British degree program, that is also possible. Um, it depends on the subject compatibility, etc. But definitely, this is a possibility. Yes. Right. Thank you so much, Miss Nisha and Miss Stella, Mr. Anand. But I would definitely recommend um, staying through the whole American degree program with Troy to um, experience the entire Troy's um, spirit, like like um, what Nisha explained earlier. Yeah. So um, we have um, one last question, and this is for Mr. Anand. Uh, with online learning platforms made accessible to everyone, now anyone can virtually learn any skill 
anywhere and earn certificates. So, Mr. Anand, do students still need to pursue a college diploma or degree? Um, thank you, Maxine, for the question. My answer would be a big, big, big yes, of course, you know, because um, you see, this this question is a cluster of whatever we have been talking from uh, from Ms. Tella, uh, Apni, and Nisha. You know, so um, definitely they need um, a college and a university degree, and I'll tell you why. Yes, especially during this pandemic period, we see a lot of um, uh, courses being offered online, and technology has taken over the teaching and learning uh uh, what do you call that medium in 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 the entire world you know everyone is going through online education but the difference is uh when uh, a difference the difference that you see from a common online program and also a tertiary uh, program from a college or university is the structure you know you got to this you, you get a chance to decide on the kind of program that you intend to study on to take it further as a, a career option in the future because there's a long way more to go after your, your your study period. So the structure, you'll have a structure, the kind of people you meet, you know, the networking, uh, the associates that you will be meeting, uh, your friends, your peers, or you call them lecturers, facilitators, the way they will actually impart knowledge to you, the delivery uh, uh, that you will see in classes, you know, it'll be very, very different. And holding a, I, a recognized college and university degree will, will actually give a lot of substance, a lot of concrete value to one's journey. You know, so um, it definitely makes a lot of difference. And coming back to the American degree program, definitely uh, meeting the right facilitators in this program and studying through uh, a recognized uh, university like the Troy and also Stegi group of colleges will actually add a lot of value in the person's career pathway. So, um, as, as I told you from the very beginning, um, from a very timid person transforming to someone who can actually speak out aloud and be very comfortable with who I am today, and Ms. Dalla said she can't imagine me being a timid person, this was all earned because of a college, uh, a tertiary level education. So, uh, in conclusion, I must say that yes, it is definitely vital uh, to have a college and university education, and I would encourage everyone who has the uh the credential or have the uh the support uh system to actually undertake a tertiary level education come join us because we make a difference you know we will make a difference in your lives um you're not only going to sit in class and listen to us but we're going to have a lot of activities for you where learning and uh, teaching and learning will be will be so much of fun and uh to make things very convenient we are also um making learning very much fun where we have uh, implemented something which is called digital badges. Now, the, uh, the, the interesting platform that we use in, um, in, in SEGI is Blackboard. And we have our lecturers, uh, uh, your, the facilitators that you would be uh, meeting have actually designed badges to make you very competitive. And I would say that to make you very competitive because you will meet a lot of friends in school and uh, you want to definitely shine. You know, you want to be uh, known by your peers. You want to be recognized by all of us. And I am the associate dean. I, I want to know who you are and I want to recognize you. So we have come out with interesting digital badges, you know, to, um, uh, for instance, you know, um, if you are taking a subject in psychology, so uh, we would actually call you uh, the most uh, outstanding psychologists for this semester. So if you are going to be an outstanding performer, you'll be earning those badges. And eventually when you finish, the testimonies that you would receive from the university, from the college are added values to your learning. So all these are only possible when actually you join a college or university education. And uh, in SEGI, we are making ourselves very niche, very unique with all these different um, add-ons that we are giving you. And we also have micro-credential programs being offered where we are giving, you see, we are in, in, in SEGI, we have got our, uh, uh, how do I say, proposed intakes uh, in a year. As what Afni mentioned earlier, for ADP program, we have the fall semester, we have the summer semester, we have the spring semester, and we have the, I think, yes, fall, summer, and spring. So if you miss those terms and you're unable to join us during the main period. We don't want you to wait. So we will give you modules or subjects from the American degree program where you can take 
while waiting for the main intake. So this is called micro-credential program, and this is recognized, and you will have a transfer, a credit transfer when you join the main program. So these are the different kinds of uh, values that we add to our potential clients, and this is only available with uh, a college or a university education. So in conclusion, I would say, wait no more. Don't be wooed with all these online courses. Join us at SEGI. Yes, we give you online learning till the pandemic is over. When you get to college, you're gonna have a lot of fun meeting all of us, and it's gonna be very interesting. So college, university education is a big yes and important. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Anand. It, from what you have explained, it really does make a difference. Peers make a difference. And um, going to college to go to have all that learning experience, especially an American learning experience, it really gives values to our most, potential students. Yeah, and most importantly, um, on a selfish note, you got to come to meet me. You're going to see how life has transformed me. So I'm going to transform you to be an excellent person and you're going to say that oh i made it with anand so join us at segi <laughs> yep you gotta you gotta come and meet mr anand miss nisha and our lecturers yep so uh we are i i can see that we do have us uh, more questions coming in but um we don't really have time for that now you can just drop us your questions in a link that i will provide later so all right we are approaching the end of the event. But before that, let me just share a bit about the rebate and offer that we have when you join our ADP. Right, just give me a few seconds. Right, so this is a, an offer that we have for those who are thinking of joining our ADP. You can um, opt for a cash rebate or cash rebate and an Apple Watch. So when you register, um, you will get this Apple Watch Series 6. But this offer is only applicable for our June 2021 intake. So hurry and make a move before our intake close this month. Remember to take a screenshot of this slide so you don't forget. Just to remind everyone again, this program is a direct route to degree right after SPM. So you don't need to have a foundation, you don't need to have a diploma, no SPM. Like if you have an SPM, you can straight away just apply for this program. If you have more questions, or if you have now decided to join our June 2021 intake, head over to this link that I am sharing right now in the comments. Head over to this link to submit your information and we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you missed the first half of this session, you can always replay it and do share this video link with your friends and family who is considering an ADP program because the information will really help them make the right decision for their future. So it is time to bring our fireside chat session to a close. I would like to thank our speakers for taking their time out of the Sunday and for the invaluable contribution to today's um, discussion. It was indeed an insightful session for our audience. Thank you, Ms. Stella, Mr. Anand, Ms. Afni, and Ms. Punisha. On behalf of SEGI Group of Colleges, thank you all for tuning in today, and we hope to see you in our next session coming right up at 1 p.m. Goodbye and have a good day. Bye, Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.